Warning. This video shows animals that have fallen down mine shafts and died. Viewer discretion advised. Vertical mine shafts, large and small, exist all throughout the western United States. Typically protected by only a few strands of barbed wire, these abandoned pits lie in wait for their next victim. Today, on Abandoned and Forgotten Places, I take you down a 114-year-old mine shaft and show you firsthand how these seemingly bottomless pits can become death traps for all types of animals. The temptation is great to throw objects down these deep shafts, but beware. One false step, and you too will fall victim and suffer an unimaginable fate. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now before we get started today, I just wanted to say thank you because by the time you guys watch this episode, we're gonna be at or over 20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support and I really do appreciate it. Okay, well we're gonna start off today by doing some smaller mines. We just finished up with the five part series on the Silver Souls Mine Complex. But before I take you guys to the next big location, there's a few smaller mines in the area that I wanted to explore. And that's what we're gonna start doing today. Right behind me here is a horizontal haulage at it. And I do believe that it's gonna intersect into some of the vertical shaft workings higher up on the hill. Okay, let's go check it out. All right, so on a lot of these mines, especially these horizontal haulage adits, you get a lot of uh, erosion over the years that tends to fill in the portal. A pile like this, it could take 30 years to eventually fill in, fill in the portal. So what we gotta do here is, We'll just throw our backpack up in there first, and then I'm going to have to just wiggle my weight down in there. Okay, let's see where this one goes. Now right now I'm still just crawling on my hands and knees. This mine has been filled in with uh, oh, it looks like a bunch of rainwater came in here. If I get a little bit further, I can get up off my knees. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's take a look down there real quick. Oh yeah, she goes away down in there. All right, I'm gonna take a moment. I'm gonna help out my exploring buddy here for a second. I'll be right back. All right, let's continue on exploring this old mine. Not much of an echo in here. These porphyry deposits are always really soft and crumbly. And that's what it is in this section of uh, Nevada, is these uh, epithermals. Oh, here we go. Now we're standing, standing upright. I'm liking this. Looks like uh, the drift at one time was gonna go that direction. 
And what's sitting over here is an old kerosene tin. All right. Let's keep traveling on down the attic. can already start to see some woodwork in front of us here. All right, the attic goes off to the right. And, oh, down here on the floor, there's what's left of a jackrabbit. Um, I'll tell you what, let's take a look off to the right and see what we can see. Oh, big pit. We've got a... Yeah, we've got a winds right here with a ladder going into the bottom of it. But that's as far as it goes that I can see from this angle. And then further on up into the face, you can see up there, there's another kerosene tin. They could have been using that for a honey bucket. Okay, let's head back over to the main haulage at it. Okay, we're back over here to the primary haulage at it. You can see my exploring buddy Randy out there in front of me. We've got a drift going off to the left. We will come back and revisit that in a moment. Two more kerosene tins down here. These actually have handles on them. Like that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we have up in here. Oh boy, very nice. We have a collared shaft, lots of graffiti. People have been back in here since the 2000s, 2001. S&M was here. There's a big platform or terrace above us and let's take a look down here it's pretty deep holy moly <laughs> wow yeah i can see the bottom i'm gonna say 80 feet maybe that probably goes yeah it's it's borderline 100 foot to the bottom um do we have a manway I can see stairs over there. Oh, oh yeah, look here. We got a beautiful looking manway here. Right there. And off here to my left. Snake. Is that alive? There's what's left of a snake. Now, we're probably, what would you say, Randy? Uh, 150, 775 feet into this mine. You mean in, in the... Uh at it? Yeah, from the at it, and we've got a snake right yeah. here, so that just, go, feet you know the old argument, people say that snakes generally stay within the first 40 feet. Well, we're well over 100 feet in and there's a snake. You see it was brought in for food by one of these critters. Those ladders look like they're in pretty darn good shape. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna, before we consider doing any crazy ladder stuff. Let's head back over here. I want to take a look down into this drift. Let's take a look over here real quick. Okay, it continues on that way. Makes a sharp left hand turn. Oh, I see what they were doing there. They're running the side of the hanging wall, following that fault. And that's what you want to do in these epithermal deposits. That's where you're going to have locations of condensant or condensating gold. And it just goes to the face right there. Okay, we're going to head back over to that shaft and see if that's something that I can get down into. Let's see you over there. Okay, so a moment ago, I was just pointing out to Randy here, this style of a shaft, and I wanna show it to you guys too. Now, take a look. I'm gonna 
point the camera straight up right there now you notice how this one is collared where they stacked the 2x12s or 2x10s one on top of each other all the way up and, and out of the mountain now typically a collar is going to be spaced out every 8 to 10 feet but because these are going into such a soft porphyry deposit they were forced to have to build the collar where the lumber is stacked on top of each other all the way down to the very bottom because otherwise you would have uh, a collapse or material would fall fall into the shaft between each one of the collar segments that's why they did it this way now I got to looking at this ladder here those terraces down there are pretty skinny um, but I think I can I think I can work my way carefully down each one of those ladders I'm not so concerned about uh, the rungs on the ladder breaking on me as I am one of those terraces snapping and falling down by the way guys that's it wasn't a rattlesnake that's a gopher snake okay let's see uh, let's try this thing Ooh. that one feels Okay, here. I'm just going to take it with me. Ooh. Stinky, like sulfur. I'm noticing the smell too. Yeah. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Now let's take a look at this next ladder. See, it's those terraces that really concern me. That one there is looking skinny, and if that terrace snaps, then the ladder and everything is going down with me. Let's see if I can get around and put some weight on this. Let's see what it has to say. if it snaps I got a lot of other stuff I can grab onto oh boy boy this is skinny yeah my my backpack always hangs up on these darn things all right I'm seeing a technical difficulty here give me just a second guys <laughs> okay Just uh, continuing on down the ladders here. There we've got a couple of electrical insulators. And then we gotta get over to the next one. Boy, this is really skinny, Randy. I guess so, huh? So far, everything's looking real good. Ooh. Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm much happier with the look of that terrace rather than these first few. Okay. 
Okay. What do we have down here? Okay, let's get off of that. What is that? An old pipe. We may be coming into quite possibly our very first drift. see where we're at here before I put any more weight on that one that one's looking pretty good and yeah, I'd say we're probably we're probably 50 50 to 60 feet from the bottom Ooh. I just heard that look at here guys Look at all the, we got one, two, three, four, four dead jackrabbits right here. Now that's looking pretty solid. Boy, Randy, there's a, there's a whole lot of death down here. There's dead jackrabbits all over. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, there's dead, there's dead jackrabbits and dead mice all over the place that have fallen down in here. So, one of the things that we've got to be mindful of, guys, is the uh, is the air quality. I'm pretty sure that. A lot of these critters just basically fell into the mine and that's why they died. They're not dying from from uh, poor air quality. Okay, let's look down at this one. That terrace doesn't look too bad. Yeah. If I can just get my big fat butt around the corner here. Oh, boy, that backpack of mine really is a pain in the butt sometimes in these tight spots. And on the collar here see look here we've got we got even more dead animals down here by my feet I'm just standing on a bunch of bones okay let's look down at the next one yeah Pretty much all the same. How much further do we need to go? Oh, we still got quite a ways yet till we get to possibly our first drift. Okay. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna make a few modifications here. These are pretty tight getting down in here. All right, guys, moved a few things around. Made some adjustments here with my darn backpack. Oh boy. Yeah, see how 
See that split in the collar right there? Now we're getting deep enough into this mine where there's a lot of pressure on the collar. And this right here, see how that's all bowed in? Boy. Okay, what do we have here? We've got uh, that right there is a dead coyote. I'm pretty sure it's a dog. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a coyote. All right. this mine okay what's down to the next one here that terrace doesn't look too bad what in the world I can't say I've ever seen so many dead critters look we got a, there's a pack rat there there's another jackrabbit besides the dog uh, Mice are all over the place. Okay. Oh boy. Look at the collar. See how the collar is bowing right there? And it's snapping right there too. Um, this keeps getting sketchier and sketchier. Let's see if we can get down to this next. Yep, okay. Let's get down to this next terrace and see what we're getting ourselves into here. to the drift. We only got one more ladder to go. Let's see if I can get over here. How does that one look? Not much different, but what's really got me a little bit nervous. You see that right there? How that's bowing out? That's getting ready to come in and collapse. All right, I think we got only one more ladder to go. I mean, I think it does kind of look like we are getting to a drift here. See, where can I put my feet? Oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to kick up a bunch of dust. There we go. Okay. Oh, that is just damn creepy right there. Look at what's right there, guys. All right. I'm almost to the drift. I just got a few more ladders to go down. Um, wow. Yep, there's a there's a bulkhead right there. We don't want to fall into that. Oh shoot. <laughs> No, how did I press that button? Well, that's kind of a first. Okay, more technical difficulties. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, back again. Let me show you where we came from. 
there's the manway going up this shaft ladder coming down here that was the uh, bulkhead slash manway door that would go into even some workings that were even lower um, but what's down here on the floor let me show you we've got all sorts of dead animals from coyotes to rabbits both cottontails and jackrabbits there's all kinds of uh, um, pack rats off here to my right there's more down here even more but the really creepy looking one is what's right over here next to the broom that is a coyote and I think what's going on here is there was probably another mine explorer down here at one time and they prop that that coyote up against the wall right there down here there's more jackrabbits okay okay let's see what we have down in here drift goes that way now here's an old wooden barrel look at this barrel here now a lot of times that's what raw gunpowder came shipped in was barrels that looked like that we've got a drift that went off this direction and this is as far as it goes and you can see how that is starting to collapse really bad I'm glad I don't have to walk up past that that's just really ugly looking okay we got a drift that goes up this direction again this is really really sketchy everybody oh goodness let's see how far it goes yeah see where they were fall I'm not gonna go any further but you see where they were following that vein right there but that's as far as this goes okay let's turn back around this big metal plate right here that's a muck sheet they would lay that down to muck material off of anything else hiding in here what does that say position position cartridges that's what it says it says position something cartridges on there kind of hard to make out that old, old tin can okay and looking back where we came from well now interesting is there any writing on this old barrel you know we haven't seen too many barrels like that gunpowder barrels that's pretty darn cool that's a, just a beautiful artifact there I like that one time it held wait is there some writing on it let's look here oh no no there's not okay okay turning back around looks like the last time someone was down in here was 2001 yeah what a creepy creepy looking mine shaft okay and I yeah I know a lot of people are saying well all right what well, does it go down any further well let's look oh yeah indeed it does but that's just too darn sketchy 
that's starting to all break up there. Let's see if we can't get another view looking down this direction. Um, maybe. See down there? Yep. So the shaft did continue on further, but now it's all breaking, breaking apart. The collar's busted, and there's just no way that I'm going down into that. That's that's just too dangerous. Okay, guys. Well, <laughs> kind of short and sweet, but cool nevertheless. So I'm gonna work my butt back up out of here, and I'll meet you up where Randy is hanging out and waiting on me. Okay, I'll see you up there. All right, guys, 20 more feet to go. Thank goodness. Boy, that was a, that was a tight one. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm gonna have a seat right here by Mr. By Mr. Snake. <sighs> all right. Well, we didn't get to go all the way down to the very bottom because the collar down in there, as well as a bunch of other things, were starting to fail. That's just too dangerous. So I think we might have time to do one more mine today, guys. Let's head back into Old Bob and head on over there. Okay, see you over there. Okay, hey everybody, we're over here at the second mine. I really like that last one. That was, I've never found that much death in the mine since I've started this channel. My gosh, there was a lot of dead critters down in there. But here's the next one I wanna show you guys today. I guarantee you there's never been a camera down in this hole. I don't know how large this mine is. I found it last summer. I was scouting this area, but uh, I, I never got a chance to go inside it. So that's why I wanted to take you in here today. So, let's see what we have down in there. I'm gonna throw Mr. Backpack. Got a lot of crumbly rock right here at the portal. Let's see what we can find. on inside. All right. Shed some light on the situation here. Okay. Okay, that's what we've got. Goes way up in there. I'm going to give my give Randy a hand real quick. So I'll meet right back up with you guys here in a moment. Okay, guys, let's see what we have up in here. Well, first of all, look at the amount of material that has fallen down from the back of the mine down here on the floor over the years, but it's all pretty old. Yeah. The stuff that has collapsed, this came down a long time ago. Okay, let's peek up in here. Oh, it goes quite a ways. Oh, it smells like critters. There. Oh, it always feels good to be able to stand up. Yeah, this one is really crumbly. I 
Yeah, we don't want to touch anything in this one, Randy. All right. Just, uh, now remember, I'll let you get up to this point and I'm going to show the audience too. See that big crack off of the, uh, right there. These are the kind of geological things you want to look for when exploring mm -hmm. these old mines. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Let's get out from under that and away from it as fast as possible. There we go. Okay, now we're looking a lot better. Well, the geology in here is really interesting. It's, uh, we're going through, um, I don't know if I'd call it shale. No, it looks more like twisted and folded rhyolite tuff. Yeah. See this off to my left? Look all the, see all the twisting and folding going on in that rock? So back when it was deep in the earth, it, it kind of had the consistency of like oatmeal or taffy, very pliable. Lots of, uh, that, that collapsed looked rather fresh. This boulder here looks kind of fresh too. See that? There's no dust on it. Yeah, there's a musty smell. Yeah, the musty, the must you're smelling is, uh, is uh, pack rat droppings. Yeah. But pack rats don't contain, they don't have the hantavirus. All right, what do we have? Okay, we've got something going off to the right. Doesn't look like it's gonna go very far. Let me just peek up in here real quick. Now I know that somewhere, yeah, that's as far as it goes right there. Okay, turn it back around. I know that somewhere up in here, we're going to intersect with a, uh, with a shaft. At least I think we are. Oh, well, I'll be darned. This is going to be the end of the mine. See, I wouldn't have expected that. I thought for sure we were going to intersect with a shaft higher up on the hill, but that's it. Okay, guys, I'm going to look around here just a little while longer, and if I find something cool, I'll be sure to show it to you. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we did find something interesting, and... Uh, Randy wanted to point this out to you guys. Tell, tell them what you found, Randy. Well, yesterday we were exploring another location. We saw a Joshua tree that had all of its leaves cut off in half. And now here in this mine, we have discovered what was doing that. These are yucca, Joshua tree, yucca brevifolia. And uh, the pack rats are using them as nesting materials, yeah. along with grasses and donkey turds and the yucca seed pods are in here as well. There's one right there. Yep. And uh, some of these cactus barbs are using those as well. And a lot of other little seed pods and shells and other interesting things. Yeah, we found little... we found a Joshua tree where the pointy the pointy needly kind of uh, leaves on it were all nibbled off and we couldn't quite figure out how that occurred and now here we discovered a pack rat using it as nesting material. Okay, well, we are continuing to work our way back towards the portal. I'll see you guys back outside. So as I'm coming up out of this hole, guys, there's a, there's a pack rat right here. And he's making all kinds of crazy noises. He is not happy with me. Don't worry, Mr. Pack Rat. I'll be out of your house here in a moment. Boy, you ain't kidding. That's kind of a tight one, isn't it? Grab that big rock up there. Pull yourself up. 
there. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a hand. Come on there, fat boy. Okay. There we go. All right. All right, well, that one didn't turn out to be too spectacular, but at least we got a chance to take a look at it. Okay, guys, well, that's going to have to do it for this weekend. I've got a few more small ones I want to show you um, for next weekend, too. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm leading up to a really, really nice site. This is just, just a monster of a mine. It's probably going to take three or four parts to totally film it. So uh, we'll eventually get to that one. But like I said, I've got some uh, real cool small ones I want to show you guys over the course of the next few weekends. So with that, I'm going to get on out of here. I appreciate you all coming along again for another explore. And again, thank you so much for helping support the channel. 20,000 subscribers. That's just fantastic. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. Okay, I'll see you again next weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.